going on guys so today we're going to be changing out the master cylinder and the brake booster as you can see we have these two brake lines that we have to loosen up as well we have a bolt right here another one on the side we have our line that we got to remove and i don't know if you can see it it's a little tight back here but there's little nuts right here we have four of those so we're going to start off by moving this cover not too bad guys um we are going to be needing a crescent wrench for these blinds i honestly couldn't find um size for these so what i'm going to be using i'm just going to be using these regular um it is very important that you use these because they're designed specifically for these blinds so that you don't strip those nuts those bolts right here. we're going to try to make this work now make sure you have something underneath to catch your fluid now from what i understand uh brake fluid is pretty corrosive i'm not too worried about it since we're not quite where we need to be but if this car is you know the whole engine bay was to be painted then i'll definitely be covering up pretty good so so now we're going to use our short 14 millimeter for these two nuts right here so Gonna throw some PB blaster real quick. As you can see, here's our old master cylinder. It's not all too bad. But yeah, there's still some pretty nasty stuff on the bottom. So now we're off to the fun part. Ended up um, removing this relay, just so that, you know, since it was such a tight spot back here. There you go. So we're just going to keep that here. We're gonna push this little pin. All right, guys, so now that we have removed our rod, we're just gonna try to pull straight out. Sorry, I ran into the little brake line. There you go. Now, all right, so here's a little comparison, real quick, from what we had to what we have now. 
as you can tell both parts are pretty similar in size the front's the same of course they're both upside down so now we're gonna take our we're gonna just pretty much put this on this one and what we're gonna do we're gonna take our measuring tape and we're gonna measure the distance between this spot right here to the top of the nut and we're gonna see what that's like so here it is and it's actually sitting at three eighths six and three eighths so now we're gonna try to come over to this side and we're gonna need to make sure that the top of our nut is at six and three eighths There you go, right there. Now we just need to get this over. All right guys, so now we've switched this over. Looks pretty good. Make sure I lock that in there. But yeah, now let's go back and do it all over again. All right, so our booster is now installed. I put everything back, relays back, the hose is in. So before we even install our master cylinder, we're gonna have to purge that. And I also, I bought a kit. I put it on AutoZone, which is just gonna help us see master cylinder bleeding kit. It's gonna help us get all those air bubbles and everything out of that one. All right guys, so we're gonna get ready to purge our master cylinder. We are gonna be using our, our universal kit. So we're gonna be looking for the right size fitting. It's a little too big. I think this one's perfect. That's what it's supposed to look. Now, the front parts begin. Now you just want to make sure you push it duro, fuerte. Just want to make sure you get all the air, those air bubbles out. Perched it enough. We'll move our lines.
Now here comes the fun part, which is getting these lines in place. Sometimes you just gotta fight with them a little. You want to make sure that you don't cross third them. So we just got back from tape boys unfortunately um they weren't able to take care of me today due to the fact that i had some brake lines that are pretty much cracked due to age and honestly i did see them but i thought i was gonna be able to get at least one ride or two out of them before probably wasn't the safest thing to do so they went ahead and pretty much you know told me to get those parts replaced since they don't have them in stock and as well as our driver rear wheel seal is leaking so i went ahead and hopped on rock auto and decided to order those uh those seals as well as the bearings and the differential uh it's leaking so i might as well replace that i'll show you guys a little bit just of what's coming up you can see a differential well let's zoom in can't really see it much but yeah guys so this is a project car, so we're gonna be working on it. So stay tuned for that, guys. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. As well, share this video. I am gonna be leaving the steering gear box, the drag link, and the pitman arm for another separate video, as I still gotta get those parts ordered. So for now, I'm just gonna take care of the rear end, and hopefully we can take it back to Tate Boys and get our system flushed, where we can at least get a ride out before I park it again to do the front end work. Stay tuned guys, thank you for watching.